and let's ride, ride for pop, pop, the life for pop, pop, pop off the glock, glock, the thug in the dumb stuff, stop, 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 Hello, I am coming on to do a reading for The Collective. It is just going to be a general energy check-in, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what resonates and leave what does not. Don't make something fit your situation. If it doesn't fit or does not make sense for you, okay, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm just going to shuffle and then I'll pull the energy around the reading and pull the reading. And bottom of the deck is, um, loneliness, okay. Okay, so you have balance, envy, and loneliness. Okay, so I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. I know that I am never alone. Okay, um... So, I know that I'm never alone. Okay, so you could be somebody that is like an introvert. You may spend a lot of time on your own, but you could be like somebody that's not. You could be someone that enjoys spending time like on your own, like most introverts do um, and this could have other people in some sort of like the people could be envy of the envious of this in some sort of way because you may be come off as really confident for like somebody that is on their own as much as you may be it may bring you into like some sort of success or you may be really successful you may come up with like a lot of really great ideas like because of the amount of work you do maybe on yourself or the amount of like time you have to um cultivate like new ideas or spend time working on different things that you're um that you're focused on or if this doesn't have to do with like work it's just like um you have the time to um put your focus into things that you're interested in whatever that may be if it's school if it's just like friends or family or, or i guess it wouldn't be friends if you're i mean Okay, so if you're somebody that spends a lot of time alone, it could be, it could be friends. You may just do it, like, you could, like, talk to people on, like, platforms or, like, from a distance. Like, you could have, like, online friends or something. But you have this, like, independent energy where you're kind of, like, somebody that does stuff in your own way or you do stuff in a way where you may come off very, like, um... 
Like, you may come off like you... You may seem like you you don't need anyone or you prefer to not be around other people and so people may feel like like they people may feel like there's not a need to approach you or there's this they they may feel like if they do approach you there's there's this like hesitancy because you could have a very independent energy, like, um, you're able to do all the things you need to do, like, on your own. Like, you don't, there's not this need to, like, rely on other people or other things to, to with the King of Pentacles showing up, it's like, it's like being able to manage everything within your own self or not needing to rely outside of yourself for the things that you need to have done or have accomplished. So, um... There could be people outside of you with this, like, loneliness and envy. There's, like, this, like, group of, like, eight people. Um, and then failures on the bottom. So people could feel, like, this sense of feeling like they don't measure up to where you may be in your life right now. Or they feel like you are at a place where people may want to be at or, stri or where they're striving to be at. And there could be this, like, sense of... Um, even even if you don't feel like you're in the spot you want to be at, people may look at you like being in a really firm position. And there may be this like hostility that you get from other people, which may even put you into this more um, like independent energy of being like, well, not wanting to be in like groups of people because there could be like a lot of hostility that comes at you. So... I feel like there is this, um, let me see what I'm seeing, hold on. There could be something you're trying to balance out when it comes to maybe a group or a f group or a family situation or something when it comes to like, it's either like a group of people or like a family or just people that you're close to um, where there was maybe like hostility or a situation that needed like some balance brought into it. Um, maybe there was a decision you made to bring some peace into a situation where that was like unbalanced or there was like a, uh, there was like a decision made that you didn't feel right about. And so there was like bringing in um balance to that situation and i feel like um that helped you come into more stability around yeah it could have been a family situation it could could have been something around a family. I, I feel like it helped you come into a time where you're able to really enjoy the space that you're in or enjoy the enjoy the um, energy or the um, place that you're in right now, feeling really at peace or really like in a place of um, feeling really content with where you are, even if you are on your own or in your own personal space. Um, I do feel like you feel like things are um, balanced, even though you could have a group of people or multiple people that have like um, have like jealousy towards you or envy. But I I feel like that's just life, or that's just how. It, I mean, that's just always how it's going to be in every situation. It's, always going to be like that. So, um, I feel like it's the energy around the reading. Okay. So, um, so I'm going to do I'm going to do the readings in a different way. Um, I I don't know how, how long I'm going to do this. I'm going to just try it, but 
I'm just going to do the different the readings at a different angle um, just because I'm more comfortable doing that right now. And then I'm just going to do it for a while, see how I like it. And then um, I might go back to doing it like this, but I'm not sure. I'm just going to... I'm going to do it and see how I like it, and then um, we'll just see how it goes, okay? Okay, so you could just be working on cutting off, like, um, flighty behavior or behavior, like, that is um, in and out or, um, like... Um, you know, like one night stands or things that are not going to be like long term relationships. Um, you could also be cutting out things that are more, um, maybe you've come out of situations that tied you to feeling stuck or bound when it comes to maybe things you did when you like were, if you were at a younger age or maybe like things you've grown out of as far as habits or um, different things you've worked on to come into a place of becoming more stable in your own mind. Um, and I think you've let go of a lot of things that were weighing you down when it comes to, when it comes to, uh, being, bound by maybe it was like drugs or alcohol or even like addictions of like I mean like um like lust addictions or stuff so it, it could have been like there was a lot of working on yourself to come out of these types of behaviors or maybe it's something you still are working on but it could have been something you were tied to since you were like a younger age and you may still have like those tendencies or those may come up, but I feel like it's something you're working on and either this is something you are trying to watch for and not allow in your life or this is something you're working on coming out of and you're trying to stay really firm in your decisions about not going back towards those um, tendencies, but you feel like kind of bound like the, like by the impulses to go towards them and like maybe they look really tempting at times. And it's something maybe that you had been doing for a long time. So it could be like, there may be like this, like going back into them or like, re like relapsing almost, even though you may not be in like a recovery, but like a, your own personal type of like, um, in personal, like, um, you know, recovery thing or whatever you want to call it. So there could be this like, you know, um, kind of going back into decisions that don't best serve you and feeling really stuck that you were trying to work on these and that they like you slipped back into like making a decision that wasn't the best for you but like um maybe you felt like that was immature or that that decision had you in an immature energy and then you get bound stuck in the idea that you like messed up on the work that you had done and um, the King of Swords, I feel like, is, like, suggesting, or with the King of Swords coming out, is suggesting, like, that, um, it's, like, when, when you're working on progress, on coming out of diff difficult decisions, or making changes in life, like, um, you know, with the King of Swords right next to the Knight of Swords, right next to the Four of Swords, which I was actually reading it as the Devil, so it, it was like, I'm gonna take that, but it was the Four of Swords, but I saw it as the Devil, um, so, I, I would say that, um, I would say that, I, I will show you why I saw this, <laughs> because it's kind of, here, let me show you. It looks kind of like how they always have the devil in these kind of cards. It kind of looks like that to me, but, um, so what I think is saying is that, um, like in any work you're doing, there's going to be progress and there's going to be mistakes, but you can always like make the progress. And then if you make a mistake, 
you know, do whatever you're gonna do. Like, let's say if you are, um, I don't know, if you are like, if you're trying to change the way you're eating and then you, you know, order out or you have like, um, whatever food that you're not supposed to eat and then you feel really bad about eating that, you know, it's just not like, you know, just enjoy whatever it is that you're eating and then, um, in, in, the next meal and then the next week continue to make the forward progress you know that one day isn't going to mess up the next two weeks of progress moving forward it's only going to mess it up if you don't make that next two weeks of progress moving forward right so even if you mess up one time you still have 14 more days of moving forward before you mess up one more time again or before you mess up like three more weeks of moving forward and then uh, you might mess up one more time again and then you might have you know another month of moving forward until you start not messing up and then it's you know three months of moving forward and then maybe one time of messing up and then I mean but that's what that's what any type of weaning off of anything looks like it's not just it's not just, oh, I weaned off this because I never mess up. You're always going to have days of going backwards. Otherwise, it's not recovery. It's just like, I mean, it's not like if you didn't mess up, it wouldn't be. It would be like everybody would be off of everything. Like there would be no, I mean, it would, it, it's not easy is the thing. So it's just like to say there's not going to be days where you mess up is, it's unrealistic. That's not, that's not. I mean, it's expected. So, not getting tied up in these bounds that it's that it's supposed to be perfect and that you're not supposed to make these mistakes. Um, I feel like it's what's being suggested by the King of Swords, um, saying that just keep moving forward after you make a mistake and then have the next um, progress moving forward and continue to do that. It's um, what I feel like it is suggesting.